More than 3 million people in Puerto Rico without electricity today after a fire at a main power plant caused the biggest blackout so far this year across the U.S. territory. Crews now working to restore the system just as quickly as possible. And correspondent Kelly Beeson has been following the story for us. Kelly, do we know what caused the outage? Well, Nicole Luma, the company that took over transmission and distribution of electricity last year, said the blackout could have been caused by a circuit breaker failure at one of the four main plants on the island. The vice president of the company noting today the system is fragile. More than a million in Puerto Rico without electricity today, forcing classes to cancel, shuttering government offices, and leaving 160,000 without water. Luma, the company that took over transmission and distribution from Puerto Rico's Electric Power Authority last year, says teams are responding. However, given the size and scope of the outage, power restoration could extend into Friday. Company officials blaming aging, ill-maintained infrastructure for ongoing outages. It speaks to a lot of uh, systemic issues, actually. Jalal Awan is an electrical engineer and policy analyst who says there are unique challenges associated with the territory. It's an island uh, grid, so it's uh, not connected with any uh, a source of energy that could power in a catastrophe like uh, of this magnitude. Awan says because the electrical grid doesn't have communication with other grids, it makes it less resilient. Noting the area is also prone to climate related threats like earthquakes and rainstorms, and that the grid relies almost completely on fossil fuel energy generation that doesn't have backup generation like renewable energy sources provide. So I think it's a, it's a confluence of factors. Now, Hurricane Maria wiped out power to all of Puerto Rico in 2018 and exposed the fragile state of the grid on the island of 3.3 million people. This outage, occurring two months before the Atlantic hurricane season starts, worrying many about the condition of the grid. Nicole. Yeah, certainly understandable concerns there. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.